most of us, we are religious here, and we have beautiful habits. And for me also, when I go out, I also wear a clerical. And I was amazed because because you you will notice that people will just greet you, hello, father, or they will just nod their head. And I remember one day I met a student from the campus, and I did not see him for the I did not see him, but he saw me, and、uh, he ran to me and asked for blessing. And I came to realize that this child or this boy is the son of one of my friends. So he told me something about、uh, his present life, living alone in an apartment. And not with his family, because they are very far from the family where he studies. Then he learned that、uh, he has to cook his food, his own food, and wash the, his own clothes. And I asked him, "How do you feel? Because now you are not、uh, under the supervision of your mother." And、uh, he says, "Yeah, it's okay. I have to do many things by my own." And he has realized that more freedom, more responsibility. So I think this is the case also for many of us, because we are religious. Because when we go when we go out, people will greet us, they will respect us, and even you with your habit, if you go to the market, supermarket, then the guard there will not check your bag because they assume that. As a religious, you will not do anything harm to other people. And also, when I go to some places with my clerical, yeah, they give me free admittance also. So so much privileges. The same thing happens to the Pharisees and the scribes, because they were regarded as the teacher of the law, and even Jesus told them that they have take they have taken their seat. On the chair of Moses, but also woe to them because Jesus told the crowd, they did not say or they did not observe what they preach. Jesus told the crowds, they preach but they do not practice. They tie up heavy burdens hard to carry and lay them on people's shoulders, but they will not lift a finger to move them. So Jesus is telling us that. These people, they are preaching with their mouths, but they do not practice with their hand or their feet. All these tassels are just decorations or to show their the ranks in the society. But this, in the future or in the eyes of God, will also be the cause of their destruction. So it is a reminder for many of us here as religious, we need to practice. What we preach, we need to do. What we expect others to do, we expect others. Or as a priest, I have to say to the people that we have to pray to God. But first of all, I have to pray to God, and every day, and also do my the reading of the the, the, the divine office. Otherwise, I would be the one to telling lies to deceive people. Because for the first place, I'm not doing the. My own prayer, my duty. So, brothers and sisters, let us recall what we have vowed before the Lord, what we have solemn professed when we take our profession. We have to do our duty, and then we can show from inside what is really the gift of our vocation. Amen.